rebuttal evidence. In terms of the substance, I think the quid pro quo is a red herring. I think there are only two issues in, these, uh, in this case. Number one, according to Speaker Pelosi, President Trump asked for the investigation of a political rival. There's another scenario, and that is that President Trump asked for inv an investigation of possible corruption by someone who happens to be a political rival. Uh, the latter would be in the, if proven, would be in the national interest. The former would be in his parochial personal interest. Um, when I raise this, this uh, point of view about the analysis, many of my friends in the media say, well, there's no evidence of any impropriety by Hunter Biden. And my response to that is that the absence of evidence is not necessarily the evidence, or, or the, uh, the absence of evidence is not necessarily the evidence of absence if you don't look. But, but, but and uh, if I mean, and I was just going to say, speak. Go ahead, sir. I was going to say, Speaker Pelosi has not allowed the defense to uh, to offer rebuttal evidence in terms of the possible corruption that the president was looking into. Well, obviously, does it, do, if there's a Senate trial, he'll get the opportunity, not to say, you yeah. know, maybe he should before, but, but I just want to focus on this phone call, because on July 25th, the president's talking to Ukrainian President Zelensky. He doesn't talk about corruption. He, just, he doesn't talk about Burisma, for that matter. He just talks about two Americans, Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. Uh, it, doesn't it seem like he was really trying to get dirt on a, a political rival? And if so, do you think that's a serious act on his part? Is that a, is that a crime? In, in my, my opinion, and, and if I were back teaching in law school, this is the way I would teach this case. Uh, doesn't mean I'm right, but this is the way I see it. There are only two questions that have to be answered here. Why did the president ask for an investigation? And number two, this is inextricably linked to the first question, what did Hunter Biden do for the money? Now, you answer both of those questions, and you can resolve this case fairly. And that's the way, that's the way I view it. Uh, the quid pro quo, uh, I think it's a red herring. Uh, quid pro quo tells you nothing, Chris. What matters is whether it was an illegal quid pro quo, which leads you right into what I think is the correct analysis, which is what I just gave you. Okay. That's just one person's opinion. So if the House, and it's not a done deal, but if the House votes to impeach, there would be a Senate trial. A couple of questions quickly. Do you think there'd be a motion to dismiss and there'd be no trial at all? Do you think it would be a two-week trial or a serious trial that goes on for six or eight weeks? And would you favor allowing both sides, Democrats and Republicans,